the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Thank you for being here this morning as we come the 28th day of our Lenten journey. Church invites us to look into our prayer life. What do we really want from God today? And why is that? Let us call to mind all the blessings and acknowledge our shortcomings. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea the salt waters, which makes fresh, which it makes fresh. Wherefore, the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord, the of, Lord hosts of hosts is, is with, with us. us. Our, our stronghold, stronghold is, the is the God of Jacob. Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord, the Lord of, hosts of hosts is with is us. With us. Our, our stronghold is, is the God of Jacob. Jacob. There is a stream whose run runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord, the Lord of, hosts of hosts is with us. us. Our, our stronghold is, is the God, God of Jacob. Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The, the Lord, Lord of hosts, hosts is, is with us. us. Our, Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, the King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethsaida, which five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. And it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you? Take it up and walk. The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well, do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. We begin this fourth week of Lent meditating the love of God and our response to this unconditional love of God is our prayer. So we continue to meditate how prayer helps us to be in communion to the Messiah, the God. So John in the Gospel, 
we read the five, fifth chapter verse 1 to 16 in details where when how this happened it was on the feast the rest of the chapel we understand this was the pentecost then there is another reference this could be passover but either way jesus is entering to the jerusalem temple to the gate of bethsaida beth house seda kindness sadek house of kindness is the name of the gate and there are five porticos five graves and so this is the gate this has been archaeologically excavated and found at the northeast wall of the jerusalem temple with the five porticos on it so this is the gate where the sheep for the sacrifice the lamb were brought in and john makes it clear that jesus is entering through this gate whether it is pentecost or passover you you know the meaning of it and the first thing he does is these people who are ill waiting for their opportunity to be healed and there is this man 38 years sick Three is divine perfection, thirty is fullness of it, eight is salvation. So this is the time of divine perfection of his salvation. And what happens? God comes to him and asks him, what do you want? His answer is, do you want to be well? He's not saying, yes sir, I need. He is saying, I have no one to help me. what does that mean i don't have any relationship to anybody the answer is i am you get up and go prayer is this relationship so that's why traditionally church teaches there are two types of prayer the vocal the verbal prayer and the mystical prayer the contemplative thing we don't need words to pray to be in the presence of god the, the great mystics all prayed without much words and noise and disturbance and so church is asking us to have this relationship to jesus that would help us to a communion that perfect communion is mysticism so do something to improve our prayer life and help us to become this relationship to a communion let us pray gracious father we thank you for the gift of our life in this day thank you lord for all those who are in our life we pray for our holy father for all the leaders of the church and the world that they all be a sign of communion with you we pray to the lord lord we pray for all those who are sick all those who are going through various diseases especially all those who feel abandoned and lonely that they all be in your comfort and care we pray to the lord Lord we pray for each one of us this day we may have the grace to stay in communion with you we pray to the lord let us pray in silence for our personal intentions Gracious Father, we offer all these prayers and those that are in the silence of our hearts. Help us to be conscious of your presence in our life. Help us to be aware that you are with us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. This will become our bread of life. Blessed be God. Wash me, Lord, from all my iniquities and cleanse me from it. May this water and wine come to share as the divinity of Christ to her blood and self. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of wine, work of human hands, thus will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, from all my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. My dear sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from my hand for the praise and glory of his name. Amen. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as Creator for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ, for though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us, you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more, by your Spirit you move human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, and peoples seek to meet together by the working of your power. It comes about, O oh Lord, that hatred is overcome by love. Revenge gives way to forgiveness, and discord is changed to mutual respect. Therefore, as we give you ceaseless thanks with the choirs of heaven, we cry out to your majesty on earth, and without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves are turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, 
saying, Take this, all of you, and uh, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when on that same evening he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, celebrating the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, Stephen our Bishop, and all the clergy and the entire people, just as you have gathered us now here at this table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all your blessed apostles and saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship, especially Conrad Naftal. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not on our sins, but on the faith of this your church, and graciously grant them the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. My dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you this day and all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tomorrow is the Feast of St. Patrick. Three days to St. Joseph. So if you haven't made any prayer, just start a little prayer to St. Joseph. It's in your prayer book, Little Novena. Could do at least three days. 
This Mass is ended. Let us go and be in the presence of God. Thanks be to God.